Well, we told you about Camp V, a 20-acre veterans resource center under construction in Tyler. Then we showed you that ranch, a four-acre equine therapy program for veterans that is open at the resource center. Well, at that ranch, there's eight animals, three ponies, Yes, a llama and alpaca, three big horses, and well, one of these animals has a special gift that he's bringing to kids across East Texas. Meet Chismo, the painting pony. If you've been following our Facebook feed, you've seen Chismo painting this piece right here. He's done pretty well so far. I don't know, Adrian, what would you say that this is? <laughs> oh, that's... I'm not sure. I kind of almost see a little bit of love in there. That's what yeah. I'm seeing. Yeah, <laughs> definitely lots of different colors in there. As I mentioned, Chismo is part of that ranch, a new ranch in Tyler that offers equine therapy for veterans. But Chismo has been painting for a while. How did he learn how to paint? Well, um, we would go out to the um, Autism Week out at Camp Tyler, and he worked with um, children with autism. And he has a special uh, connection with the children with autism. And uh, they would paint him. So... I, uh, I told him if he didn't get out of the paint box, because he just kept kind of messing around, I said, I'm going to make you paint. So I had somebody go get me a piece of paper, and with a little bit of operant conditioning, he, was, he took right to it. And he's exceeded all of our expectations. I mean, something that started out as a joke has now become something quite serious, to the point now we're writing a coloring <laughs> book. <laughs> and... Uh, He's going to be at Crayola Experience on the 28th, and um, it, it's just really taken off. I mean, he's got a mind of his own. And whenever someone with um, what we'll say uh, normal NI, in, in normal ID, paints, it's more of a Jackson Pollock type of a look. Um, and whenever a child with autism paints, he paints uh, more of picturesque. And um, I think many people have seen his uh, horse by horse. I'm sorry I didn't bring that with us. Um, but he, it actually looks like a horse, of course. Yeah. <laughs> Some of his paintings, I know this one's a little more scattered out, not more of an image. When it shows more of an image, that's when he's painting for an autistic kid. This one's a little bit more spread out with colors. And as I understand, you've had some events for autistic kids. Where Absolutely. Um, we paint for m at most of the events for autism and uh, the disability expos. Um, the Tyler Run for, Air for Autism. We do the Tiger Creek Refuge um, Autism Day. So there's several and uh, that we work with. Um, I can't even think of all of them. We've had <laughs> such a busy season. It's, it's hard to even think of all of the ones that we've done. And, and it's, it's any event that comes up for autism, we're going to be there. So can people and, reach out to you? Oh, absolutely. We, he does have a, he's Chismo, the painting pony at gmail.com. We do have a website. That's T-H-A-A-T-R-A-N-C-H-L-L-P dot GoDaddySites.com. We'll put it on our Facebook you page thank so you. people can contact you. Well, thank you so much. As we said, we would pick one person that commented on our Facebook page to win this painting done by Chismo the Painting Pony. We've gotten quite a bit of comments so far. Later in our show, we'll announce the winner. So you still have a little bit of time. As Adrian mentioned, they've had several again events. Again, we'll have a winner at the end of our show. So you still have time to comment on our Facebook page. It's under the live feed. Thanks so much, Adrian. And coming up, we take another quick look at the weather with meteorologist Brittany Morales. Stay with us.